Christine Estale, and I'm here in Wiltshire at West Kenneth Long Barrow. And it's a beautiful ceremonial site from the Neolithic period, from around 4000 BC. And this place was actively used from around 4000 BC to around 3700 BC, uh, which at that time the, the construction behind us, Silbury Hill, was finished and then that was used. It sort of took over as a primary focus of ritual at that time. West Kenneth Longbarrow is an incredibly fascinating structure. It's a long barrow, so like a long mound, and then at the one end of it there's a stone structure here and a burial chamber. The burial chamber is an incredibly intact burial chamber, perhaps one of the best uh, preserved burial chambers from this time period. You can go in it and you can meditate it and really tune into the energies there. Uh, at the time period when it was in use, uh, there was a lot of bone remains that have been left behind from approximately 46 different people not complete skeletons, but just like one bone from each body, as if to say that it's not to revere a particular person, but the communal spirit of the sim symbolism behind just having one bone from each individual, so you get the community feeling. So it's not focused on one individual, but the general population. It was used as an initiation chamber often to go and commune with the, the collective consciousness of the ancestors that had passed. So the collective consciousness uh, of the, the tribe in general, the people living here. We know from recent research that the, the wheelchair plane was actually very, uh, very populous. There was a lot of people living here, very uh, fertile plain, a lot of cattle, uh, cows and sheep, probably a lot of game bird as I'm seeing here today still. So it, it's, it's very fascinating to think that this wasn't just a temple where people would visit, but it was part of their, their seasonal rituals. And if you go in there, you will notice that you tune into this, this deep connection with Gaia the sacral and root chakra connection as if it's going into the womb itself of Gaia. And in this, this uh, triggering of the conception and rebirthing of your personal being, you, you can trigger a deeper process of going within. Because it's, it's wise to remember as we're going on our spiritual journey that rebirth isn't just a a quick fix. It isn't just something that happens one day and the process is over. It's like a human birth. It goes on for months and months and months and you develop and gradually gain wisdom and insight. Your body also has to adjust to these energies. So it's a profoundly time consuming on some levels and it takes time to also digest the information and the subtleties of what you're picking up and integrating it into your personal life, of course, too. So I welcome you to go within, whether you're at home, in your private meditational space, or if you have access to a wonderful uh, chamber like West Kenneth Longborough, please come and visit it and to just go within, tap into the energies of Gaia with your intention to really trigger a deep movement into spiritual unity and unity consciousness. Thank you so much for joining me here at this really magical place. If you like this video, please just go into Facebook and you can comment on it or friend me or go into my website and also sign up for my newsletter at christineestale.com. As you see, I can, I'm still standing here. The, the, there's quite a height and there, it's roomy in here. There's four chambers on the side 
where people probably would go in and meditate, and I believe there was human remains then. The symbolic remains were left in the sides and in the central chamber. the other day, it was such a beautiful meditational moment. Uh, I was here with some friends, amongst them was my husband and uh, Dr. Jude Curvin and her husband Tony, and we were talking about not just the, the energy of Gaia, but the Divine Child and how that is really coming present for us too, as we open up to the wonderment uh, of of the journey and our own magical innocent self and a little bit of the mischievousness too. Thank you so much for joining me and many blessings to you.